It's gone full price. How much is your Lego, mate? What have you got on your guitar, mate? It's up to sport the, the naff bits. I can't get anything else out, mate. I've got washed hands. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a brand new video. Big my name's Jack. And I'm Emily. And together we're a full-time reselling couple here in the UK. So we buy stuff from charity shops, auctions, car boots, and we resell it online for hopefully a profit. Yep, try and buy low, sell high, and earn a living. So in today's video, we're going to be heading to a couple of car yep, boots. Yeah, two car boots, a little sales update, and a little house update. Nothing major, but just a little update. <laughs> So yeah, we hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, please smash a huge thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button down below and also the bell so you're notified for any future content. Without further ado, let's get thrifted. Okay, so we've got weekend sales going out the door and I'm going to flip you around again and do a quick sales report, see what's sold over the weekend. So we've got a bit of a, not a bad stack. I think it's about 20, 25 parts or so. It seems to be between 20 and 30 each weekend. It's definitely slower. Um, I've seen in sort of the groups on Facebook and stuff, people have sort of been saying that they feel like the sales have been dropped as well. Ours, we feel like we've been listing less, so therefore selling less, but there could be an algorithm involved as well. But anyway, a couple of storm lanterns, seen them all before, nothing too exciting there. Thomas train set i think about a tenner i put this up over here this is a prestige saucepan i think we had that for about 40 or 30 and then kept dropping it ended up taking an offer of 20 pounds but it gets it out the door i think we paid five or ten pound for a whole set this is put over here the lakers jersey now if you remember we bought this at a car boot a couple of videos ago for about two pound and we sold it for 22 pounds so really really happy with that one and all some other smalls in here are some transformers Pop was over here, I think they sold for about 25, 27. And yeah, they're all the little mini ones. Now, some people separate them, sell them separately, but we've just done a big bundle. Some of the stock we've had for too long now, and we just want to get rid of it. So we dropped the price, 27 pound, profit, happy days. Now in this pile in here, there is things in this box and this box, are two separate diving jackets for scuba diving. Now they're both sold as untested, and I think we've got 30 for this one, and no, thir maybe 32 for this one or 30 for that one, but, yeah, some of them fetch more money. This, I'll pop this over, over here, £7.50 we ended up letting this go for. It is a quite an old board game, complete with all the parts. It definitely goes for more. We've had this for some time, and yeah, it's just good to get it out the door. Now, this was a quick in, quick out. So, we listed it, well, we bought it a while ago when we bought all that Warhammer. I'll pull it up over here. It is the Warhammer carry case. Now, we've sold two things from that bundle now but we only listed them yesterday or a couple of days ago so yeah 25 pound plus postage come to about 31 pound 50 most expensive one had sold was about 30 pound free shipping we were 1 pound 50 more but it sold really quickly and i think the foam inserts hadn't been cut so maybe that held more value we paid 40 45 in the charity shop for a big old bundle so it's a good good start be really happy with this one i'll pop it over here it's the tom and jerry jack in a box now you might remember we bought this at a car boot sale it was an awesome awesome find i think we paid about 10 pound for it and yeah it's gone full price 79.95 and it's going over to france not gsp even though we use gsp they've basically sent it to a uk shipping company who then forwards it on so yeah it saves them money i presume but yeah really really happy 10 into 80 really good win on that one now a couple of the yankee candles we bought a big bundle at the car boot you might have seen and yeah we've now sold two and we've got our money back so we paid 30 pounds for a bundle of them and we sold one for 30 and one for 25 i think so i'll pop both up here so one for 25 i think one for 30 we paid 30 for it all we've got a few quite a few left over still to sell and we've kept a couple for ourselves so absolute bonus what else we've got this is a little tiffany table lamp now i put a pop it over here we had this one for ages and ages and ages i think we had it up for like 60 pound originally dropped it to 50 i think someone offered 40 or 45 you'll be able to see over here but anyway yeah we wouldn't have paid any more than 10 pound maximum for them so very happy profit is a profit so that's pretty much everything that's going out the door today a few other smalls in there but nothing overly exciting i think it's collectively about 400 450 pound at an estimate but yeah really really happy sales are still trickling through q4 has really started now and the more we list the more we will sell the next time we sell is probably sourcing because that is our favorite thing to do and you guys like what's seeing it so yeah catch you at the car boot Frosty mornings. Been a while. Ugh. Not too many. Let's get in the queue. Woo! Bargains, let's go. So yeah, good morning. So it's actually Saturday now. I know. So we didn't get out during the week this week, which we were planning to. 
Because of the weather. Yeah, so. it's been hit and miss this week. But yeah, it's now Saturday. We haven't been to a Saturday Kabu in a long time. A long time, like and, early summer. Yeah, and especially we haven't been to Ford. Ford. Mm. So yeah, we used to go midweek Ford We've sometimes. Never I've never been on a Saturday. You've never been on a Saturday? Mm -hmm. You must have been at least once. No. Really? Oh, fair enough. Been on a Sunday, but not Saturday. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it, it, it's three three days a week this carpet. So it is usually busy. It is usually, and yeah, and as you can see, there's quite a lot of buyers already parked up. Um, there's still sort of uh, restrictions in place for you have is to there? like. I'm not really sure. Well, we think there's restrictions in place. It's before you had to wait in your car. But yeah. I don't know. I don't know. But we're not as early as we have been. So, mm. but yeah, we'll see how it goes. So hopefully, find some bargains, some gems. See what see we you find. Bit. See you soon. <laughs> How much time was we got? How much is your leg, mate? Fifty quid a lot. Thank you very much. There's a lot more to How much are your dinosaurs, please? The big one's two pounds. Yeah. Uh, Certainly. And what about your, your tank? Uh, one fifteen. Fifteen. Alright, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Just place then. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, ten, uh, ten on, mate. What you got on your guitar, mate? 300 on that one. Lovely, isn't it? Yeah, it's beautiful, yeah. What sort of price are your games? Which one are you after? Each one. Escalado, 30 quid. Tank battle, I'll do 15 on. Crossfire, I'll do 20 on. Alright, thank you. Appreciate it. Or I'll do 50 the lot. What sort of price are the toys in the box? It depends what it is, really. Mine is. Yeah. Appreciate it, mate. Thank you. Seriously, how much is the little? Uh, five. Five. Lovely yeah. outside the house. Three quid by him? No, five. What about four? No, five. It's worth that. Do you have a five a change, sir, please? Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. We just got back to the van. We'd sort of done one, we've done a couple of trips around 
but I didn't come back to the van because we didn't buy a lot. So yeah, Saturday's it's not been great here. A lot of buyers, quite a few sellers, but not rammed. But then, you know, it's out of season. But then this place does get busier in the winter sometimes because it's hard ground. But yeah, you saw the amount of people, there's loads of people here. A lot of antique dealers, you know, people come from far to come buy here. And sometimes you can find well, sometimes you can't. Don't know if we just weren't looking for the right things today, but hey, we had a go. So I'll quickly run through what we bought. So, picked this up just near the end there. Um, the, old, the old boy, the gentleman, obviously there's a lot of dealers you're buying from. So a lot of time they won't come down on their price. And to be fair, five pound was a fair price. I tried three, I tried four, but it looks, to me, it looks sort of like arts and crafts sort of style. I don't know if it is or not, but little porch light, porch lantern, but yeah, for five pound, hopefully 20, 30 pound, we can make a little profit. Shout out to Gemma, lovely, lovely, lovely lady, giving us these books for baby, when baby comes. So yeah, really, really kind. Thank you so much. Really, really do appreciate your support. And you've done us a deal on a lovely little Le Crusoe pan. She let us have it for £10. So yeah, really appreciate that. Thank you very much. I was getting a bit desperate. I uh, paid basically like a pound for these two. Um, obviously one Ghostbusters, one Digimon. He's missing bits. He's, yeah, I don't know. It, it got desperate. So 50 pence each. Not really much value in that. This was the first pickup of the day. And it's a little fishing camping stool. Paid five pounds, hopefully 10 to 20. It's not big money, but it doesn't take much space. Easy to list, easy to package. Yeah, we'll have a go. It may be worth more, but five pound, it's worth a go. Pays a bit of petrol today. And then this buy, so we paid 20 pounds, sort of, I don't know. I realized afterwards that in the van, he had loads of other sort of model stuff, railway stuff in a couple of other boxes so to, to me i feel like he's bought it and then put it aside took the good bits out and then basically i've just bought the the naff bits the leftover bits for 20 pounds so it is what it is but there is a thomas engine in there now that's got to be 10 to 20 on its own and then the other bits you know some of these can be 10 and then in the bag there's a few bits and pieces but yeah we'll go through it and we'll bundle it up. If it doesn't have enough value, bundle it. And yeah, there's definitely a profit in 20 pounds and there wasn't much here today, so it covers petrol, our time, make a small profit and move on. Catch you in a bit. Right, so we've just left the car boot and we're actually heading to, oh, bit bumpy. We're actually heading to Dan Elm. We're buying, picking up some blinds, blinds for the bedroom. Blinds for the bedroom as well, so yeah. My hair looks really light. It does, it looks beautiful. So yeah, we will head there now, then we're gonna get home. Yeah. And yeah, see you in a bit. So we just got distracted on the way to Dunelm because there's a home sense and we've got a voucher and then wants a reef for the door. So £17. Not too bad. But yeah, voucher though for last Christmas, so might as well use it. Now on to Dunelm. A few moments later. So we picked up our blinds. We've got some blinds for the bedroom. Nice tropical and a curtain pole. So well, hey, that's my job for the afternoon. Get that sorted. Fun, fun, fun. And one more thing we found at the car boot. This. And what is it? Well, I'm thinking. It's a I'm, bag, obviously. Yeah, but I think it's the right size for like a changing bag, and it's tie dye, and it's soft, yep. and it needs a wash. And it was a, it was a pound, so it's got little compartments inside to be perfect. Get start buying baby stuff now. God, what's my life come to? Okay, and in the bedroom we had these behind these, but we noticed in the evenings, with the light on in here, dark outside, you might be able to see inside. So, you aren't too sure. so we have gone... I mean, not everything is jungle themed, because this is just a coincidence. Jungle, jungle. We only have one set of bedrooms. Yeah, yeah, otherwise it's like other stuff, but... Um, peaches. Peaches, exactly. So now we're going to put this up here, and hopefully with this and this, little privacy, Voila, just like that. I'll have a go. Job done. So we've actually got a massive parcel going out today. You might remember in the last video we bought, was it the last one? The one before. Right, we bought a load of Henry Hoovers. 
now unfortunately they were all a bit damaged and but they were really cheap we paid 20 pounds for the three of them so we were going to break them apart and sell sort of like the base and the parts and all this sort of thing but oh, because of the model number it just wasn't really worth it so what we opted to do was just sell them as bulk all three of them with the accessories job lot for someone else to then repair and so they're going to get get a better deal but there's less work for us involved so we sold it for 50 pounds this is a big, massive old box just shy of 20 kilos all in that's all three henry hoovers in there with the parts and they paid obviously the postage on top so it's about 50 pound plus about 12 pound 10 pound postage i'm not sure and we sent it with uh parcel force so it was just in the in the so i'm just mopping down the tape that's meant to be there um it was just inside the allowance for the dimension so it went for about nine pound ten pound or whatever so yeah really happy you know within a week it's come in they've gone out you know after 50 pound after commission it's just you know just over a double up so it's okay but not amazing but yeah you live and learn you move on you keep treasure hunting and we'll catch you up in a bit the next day oh that lovely orange light <laughs> i'm just putting my shoes on and just putting my shoes on but yeah it is out of focus but yeah it is like six o'clock <laughs> half six orange. it's a horrible orange light but it is dark yeah, outside like we're in the bohemian rhapsody video yeah we're rocking it. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, we're at our Sunday car boot again, and yeah, it was, seems quite busy with traffic on on the road coming in. So, yeah, fingers crossed, we find a few bits. We're going to try and be a bit more picky, we're trying to buy quality over quantity. Well, last, last week, I think we panicked, bought a little bit because we there did. wasn't much. Yeah, though. I don't want to pay ten pound for and sell something for twenty pound. Yeah, because after think, commission no, and everything, think, like. Every business model is different, but I think with storage for us, yeah, to yeah. say like if we didn't have the storage issue, yeah, yeah, then, then we'd be buying we stuff. But it's I mean, we're trying to just you know be a bit more picky. We've still got quite a bit of stuff that we've put aside for Christmas, ready to list toys, Lego, um, Christmas decorations, video games, all that. So we've got that to list. So we're gonna go out and try and find some cool stuff today. See you in a bit. Fiber for the two. They're really all like collectors. You do three quid on the pair. Yeah, go on then. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. And what are you looking for? Well, they're bloody expensive, guys. What are you talking about? Just the ones in the box? And all your Paw Patrol. All the Paw Patrol? Yeah. Well, what do you think's fair? I, don't, I mean, it depends what you're after. I don't know. 30 quid for the lot? Oh, really? What would be your best for the? Well, if you were going to ask fifty for them, how about for? Uh, uh, sorry. Yeah, forty-five for all the whole lot. Would you do thirty-five? No, we do forty though. That, that was a lot of money to buy though. No, I, I respect that. I respect that. Forty? Yeah, go on then. Yeah, we'll do I, that. I think yeah. you got a, a good deal. Oh, I appreciate it. How much is that one, please, mate? Sorry, two pounds. Two, and what about the figure? Three. How much is that one? It's ten. Ten, is it? Mm -hmm. Jay, can you please Digger? watch this area, please? <laughs> uh, I can't get anything else out, mate. I've got to wash the hands. Um, okay. hands, you do have to keep an eye on people, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's true. 50 pence clothes, people are stealing clothes, you can believe yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you got 15, we'll do 13? Yeah. Yeah? Thank you. Yeah, I'll set that back. Mm. Get some money. You got a fiver, bud. Appreciate it, mate. Thank you. Okay, and just like that, we are done. So, yeah, not loads, but we found some more right bits. I, 
quick look through what we found. Big old bundle of Paw Patrol. So yeah, first time we've actually picked this stuff up. We've never really bought Paw, Paw Patrol before. Maybe one or two odd items. But I paid £40 for the box full. So there's quite a lot in there. So I'm hoping over £100 in there. Everyone else seems to be doing really, really well with it. Now, Atmosphere. Sort of like a booster pack. Or the sequel, sequel game set for the video game. Yeah, so never really picked this up either. But again, have seen others do all right. The condition is not ideal. But it was only £3. I think that was our first buy. So yeah, just quick on video games. We did get a little haul today. Thank you to John. So we got this uh, NES, but with no cables. But we did get two games. Ninja Turtles and the Goonies. So yeah, don't know the... Don't know prices of them, but we do get two controllers as well. So get a couple of cables, and we'll be happy with that. Odd World and Medal of Honor. I know Medal of Honor is not worth much, but Odd World does okay. PSP, N64, but no, no games, no controllers, no cables, nothing. Just the console itself, and then a box of sort of PS1 and PS2 controllers and a couple of cables in there. So we paid forty-five pound for it all. So should do okay on that. But yeah, it would have been nicer if obviously the controllers and cables were with the N64. That would have been a lovely find then. And then moving on real quickly, storage box for ourselves. Now, we've got some fence panels in the garden. We might have to treat them or paint them. So I thought I'll get a sprayer. Never really tried one, never used one before. But it was a fiver, so have a go. Went for some Apple products. So you've got nine keyboards here. Now it is from sort of a house clearance, so they may not work, not sure, but we paid £25 for the nine. So hopefully there's a profit in that. If they don't work, then we'll probably bundle them up and yeah, probably just be a double up. But got to have a try, got to have a go. The PS1 in there. Um, again, we paid £20 for PS1, a load of games. So yeah, really happy. Found a few bits today. Not too bad, but yeah, we'll get back, get it cleaned, get it listed, get it sold. Catch you in a bit. Right, so... That's a wrap. So yeah, it's a, good, it's a good video. We found some good bits today, sold some pretty good bits as well. It's an all-round win-win. So yeah, obviously, car boot official season is over now, so yeah. we're not finding the stuff that we were finding in peak summer, but totally. there's still bargains to be found. Yeah, like at Ford on Saturday, it's, you know, because you're buying from trade most yeah. of the time, you know, sometimes things aren't always as good as they look. You know, like it might be like a, that, that Lego stuff, the Lego sets. They, I've seen them before selling that, I think, and I think it was all mixed and they've mm. put it in cardboard boxes maybe to look better than it is. You know, I'm not saying all trade are like that, but sometimes you just have to look twice, you know, yeah. not just judge face value like buying it from a family or something. But we've managed to find a few bits and yeah we've done okay yeah so let us know in the comments how you've been getting on obviously how are you sourcing now obviously some car boots aren't on some are still look forward to chatting to you in the comments otherwise we'll see you soon for a brand new video bye take care